Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity reign supreme. Got another unbox today. Uh, did some shopping over the past couple days. Uh, decided to splurge and get a few fun items going on in some toy hunts. Um, didn't record the actual going out to the stores because, well, one, it's cold, so a lot of winds. And a lot of the parking lots were blasting music so I don't want to get hit with copyright uh, strike for that and also inside of stores I mean with social distancing there's still people bumping into you uh, people you know very loud and you guys wouldn't have heard me very clear so I do apologize for that uh, but I went to GameStop just like I did yesterday and I scored this guy now right now GameStop is doing uh, a 20% off President's Day weekend. So from the 13th to tomorrow the 15th, you could get 30 or was it 20% off uh, action figures, collectibles, and a few other assorted items. If you notice, I now have a uh, Red Red Ranger helmet in the background there. I picked that up yesterday. I just released the unbox video for that uh, earlier today, and so I also picked up this today. This is, um, well, obviously, it's the very first Mighty Morphin Power Ranger uh, Megazord, but its sword is actually a letter opener. And this was priced at $19.99, was previously $29.99, and with the 20% off, I was able to score it for about $13.99. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. Now, this is through, uh, let me see, who is it, the actual manufacturer of this? This is Surreal Entertainment, in association with Hasbro, of course. Let me just put that right there. So we see Power Rangers, Hasbro, Surreal Entertainment. Now the sword is, of course, removable. You can take it out of the Megazord's hand or not. And we're going to see, um, does the Megazord, can it move? Is it possible? Or is it just stuck in one spot like a little, little statue? I mean, I figured, hey, why not for like $13, $14? It's a nice little, little Megazord, you know. Of course, we have this, this misting kind of art on one side, and then we have a little lightning strike with the Megazord right there, and then we see the Power Sword right there. So let's crack this bad boy open, okay? Hope everyone's having a great weekend, enjoying your uh, Valentine's Day weekend. Um, whether you have someone in your life or not, I hope you at least take some time and, you know, think about the great things in life. If you don't have someone in your life, think about some family members, some loved ones. Okay, so just simple. Whoa. That Megazord uh, sword has a little heft that came right out. Now, it's, it's not sharp at all, but obviously, when you're trying to cut open an envelope, it'll do the job. So we have a... Got some nice heft to it, guys. Nice, long uh, handle. Scabber, I should say. Now, some of the yellow paint on here... Um, closer you look it, it's not too solid um, that's an easy fix um, either with a maybe a yellow sharpie or I can tape off the aluminum part and some nice solid uh, spray like a solid yellow I do have a, some yellow around here somewhere I just gotta find it uh, there's that or just maybe even hand paint it and just hit it with a nice clear coat to cover up the chrome afterwards. Uh, that would be a quick and easy fix. We're going to set this down on the desk. And then... Okay, so the Megazord, he, he is just one solid molded piece. Paint applications on here actually look pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. It almost looks like a few spots. Is, they almost look like decals there applied. I mean, if you look at the waist right there... You can see the uh, blue triangles right at the waist are not perfectly centered, 
but it's a molded piece of plastic. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, it's solid. We have the Power Rangers branding via a decal sticker. Copyright 2019, obviously. So it's been around, it's been out for quite a while. I mean, it's not bad. This is not bad at all. It with some of the paints on here, they give you the uh, you know the illusion that it, he's moving forward to fight the bad guys. Now, both hands can hold the sword. Actually, if you notice there, in there, both hands have the ability to hold the sword. Uh, one thing I'm not too crazy about is the left hand. If you notice, there's like some uh, some gray spot, either where a paint might have chipped or broken off. Um, but that's, I mean, I could take a Sharpie and cover that right up. Those are things you can do to kind of just touch it up. I do also have flat black paint that I can just kind of... See, we have it like he's holding the sword right there. Or we can have it where he's getting ready to do an attack. So you have a couple different ways you can go about it. Like he's trying to deflect a, an attack. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I got this guy for about $14. Um, like I said, some of the paint on here is a little spotty, but I mean for $14... I'm not going to complain, would you? Here's the back. The back looks pretty good. Now, it would have been cool if they could give you another accessory like the Mastodon shield. So that while he's holding one weapon, he's got the shield for the other. Uh, that would have been a pretty cool effect here. Um, but all in all, it's, uh, it's not bad. I mean, as far as the sticker, I mean, again, the front label, you get bonds, and it's not perfectly centered. It's a decal. I could probably remove that and print out something something else to, to put on that that uh, base, and maybe even add some. I mean, you can get some uh, transparent uh, sticker stock um, that you can print whatever image you want from your computer through, via a regular printer, like an ink inkjet. Print it out and apply it onto here, so you know you could have maybe print out a couple of the coins as images or you can just do a little energy effect a little lightning bolt going across the sides and maybe some other branding instead of the basic sticker maybe give us something a little bit more uh something with a little bit more pizzazz maybe i don't know maybe a little nameplate that says um you know dino megazord or something like that i mean that there's a lot of uh a lot of things you can do I mean, he is just a statue for a letter opener, so I think I did pretty good. Now, in addition to him, I picked up a couple of Marvel Legends. I'll be doing separate videos on those guys. Yeah, I have. Ooh, I got quite a bit today. I, in fact, um, I don't. I'm. I know I'm not going to finish all my videos today. Um, I have four single Marvel Legends to do, two Marvel Legend 2 packs. Um, I picked up a Ghostbusters reissue of the Kenner Ghost Popper. I also have a Walmart Ghostbusters Ghost Trap with the uh, pedal to activate it, open it up, and close it. That's actually going to be part of an ongoing project. We're going to be doing a series of videos of me modifying it. Okay? Now, I'm uh, in a later video, I'm going to go over and explain um, just what am I going to modify. And I'll show you guys with a couple of the traps I've already done so far. And we're going to take a more in-depth look, doing video by video, as I modify that. Just very similar to what I did with the with the trap, or with the pack, Proton Pack. So we're going to take that step by step. I'm going to show you my process. Maybe my process will help a few people out there, give them a little bit, little bit of insight. I'm no professional. I don't purport myself as being such. But, you know, maybe I'll give you guys a few pointers, and maybe a few of you will comment and give me a few pointers. Help each other out. Okay? So there we are. Just a quick little unbox for the uh, GameStop carrying the uh, Megazord, Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, Megazord 
letter opener. So there we go. Tell me guys what you think on a scale of 1 to 10. Is it a 10? Is it an 11? Is it a 5? I mean, with the paint applications, if this was a brand new item just being released now, there's no way I would be spending 30 or 40 bucks for it. No way. No way, no how. Because it was on sale, I waited and waited and waited. Oh, and by the way, I waited, and we got a good deal on that. No worries, no no harm, no foul. Um, as you also saw, I picked up the Red Ranger helmet. I'm thinking about getting the White Ranger helmet. What do you guys think? Do you think I should pick up the White Ranger helmet? Or do you think I should just uh, hold off and stick with the uh, Big Red here? Now, honestly, I'm not a huge Red, Ra Red Ranger fan. Nothing against him, but the helmet looks fantastic. When I got out of the box, I was blown away by it. You guys know my favorite is Green Ranger. So the day I die, Green Ranger Dragon Zord all the way. What can I say? That's just me. So there we are. Just a quick little unbox. Hope you guys li liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you got some criticisms, whether positive or negative, hit me down in the comment section below. And of course, if you ever feel the need, you want to reach out to me directly, hit me up at davesdimension78 at gmail.com. Now, I am going to do... I did receive a request uh, from, from one of our viewers uh, asking me, because in a couple of videos, you've seen... Like when I changed out my monitors, you saw some of the wall, the Ghostbuster themed wallpapers I use. Uh, one of our viewers requested some links on where I can get those. Now I'm going to actually do a little bit of research, probably this week or next. I'm going to try and get as many links to some great sites where you can get these high depth uh, wallpapers. And of course, you can do a Google search yourself. You know, Ghostbusters or Firehouse, Ecto One. HD wallpapers for desktop. I mean, they're pretty simple, but I'm going to see if I can come up with a list. Because uh, anytime any of you have a request, I'm going to respond. I'm going to do whatever I can. It's just things have been kind of crazy lately. So, until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.